<laughs> She's never gonna find me here. Oh. Hello. Garrett, you have to go to work. You do this every morning. But I hate teaching. The, the kids suck. They don't even speak English. I don't care. Now look, here's your backpack. If you leave now, you can make it. Garrett? Garrett! Oh. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Pop FX, the show where we teach you how to create some of the most popular digital effects from your favorite movies, TV shows, and video games. This is our second week of our Harry Potter themed magical month of July, and this time we're learning how to disappear without a trace using our very own invisible cloak. Hooah! For being one of the most widely recognized and popular effects of the Harry Potter series, the Invisible Cloak effect is a surprisingly simple one to do. This effect will be broken down into two steps, shooting the scene and editing the effect. Step 1. When shooting the scene, you're going to want to first have your camera locked into position on a tripod. Then, start recording your scene with no one in your shot, making what's called your clean plate. Do not turn off your camera, instead keep it recording, step in, and act out your scene. This is to make sure you don't bump or move the camera at all as the clean plate needs to exactly match your footage position. As a tip, it's going to save you a lot of time in post if you have your actor hold the green blanket tight or in a way that reduces the amount of wrinkles and keeps the fabric as flat as possible, creating one uniform shade of green to edit out. Step 2. Once you have your footage imported, you're going to want to drag your clip down and create a new comp. As you can see, Kyle and I were careful not to wear any green to screw up the effect. However, I chose to shoot the scene here in the woods on purpose to help show you how powerful and sensitive this process is. The first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your clean plate layer. To do this, find the point on the timeline where there is no one in your shot, cut out that section, or split the layer by going to Edit, Split Layer, label the layer Clean Plate, and make sure it's the bottom layer. Then right click on it and go to Time Freeze Frame. In your timeline, you should be able to extend that layer now so that it fills the entire time you need the effect for. Now we're ready to key out the green. First on your timeline, locate a spot where you want to key out the green screen and go to Effects, Keying, Key Light. In your effects panel over here on the left, select the eyedropper and choose the main shade of green that's there. You should then notice a lot of green has been eliminated, but nothing of your actors has been distorted. To clean everything up and get rid of the stray portions of the green screen, go back to your effects panel and change your view from Final Result to Screen Matte. And you'll notice that everything here turns black and white. Now, the general rule of thumb here is you want to make the blacks pure black and the whites pure white. And to do that, open your Screen Matte settings and adjust the Clip Black slider until you get a nice crisp black. And then do the same with the Clip White slider until you get a pure white. There shouldn't be any gray area visible once you finish. Then, as an added touch, jump over to the Screen Shrink and Grow setting and change it to negative one, which will make your mat one pixel bigger. And then change the screen softness to plus one to smooth it out. Change your view back to final result, and when you scrub through the footage, you should now see everything has been cleaned up quite nicely. This time, she's never gonna find me. <laughs> oh, holy crap! Thanks for watching this week's episode of Pop FX. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment either below or in the new user submission box I recently added to my YouTube channel's homepage, letting me know what other Harry Potter effects you want to see be made this magical month of July. Bonus videos this week include a behind the scenes look at the making of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and also the deleted scenes that never made it into the final version of the Prisoner of Azkaban. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. <laughs> Blood. Foul, loathsome, evil little cockroach! Oh, that felt good. Expecto!